shook the city. It shook our hearts. The murder of a young pregnant mother, Cheyenne Miller, and her three-year-old daughter, Shania. Ever since it happened on Friday, we have been digging into this story to find out more, and tonight we've learned a little bit more. Shania's grandparents say that the man arrested was the father of her unborn baby. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs is on this story and shares their heartbreaking plea for peace. When it came to her three-year-old granddaughter, Latrice Johnson documented everything. <laughs> From the silly moments <laughs> to the big milestones, Shania's pop-pop teaching her how to ride a bike. It's these memories she holds on to. The painful reminders of a beautiful life taken far too soon. Her favorite place is the park. Just the day before this happened, we took her to four parks in one day. Like, everywhere she want to go, we make sure she go. And that's the one thing that's given me a little bit of peace because I know that her last days was the best days of her life. On Friday, Shania was found shot dead in a car with her mother, 23-year-old Cheyenne Miller, who was eight months pregnant. Johnson says she was working hard, had just gotten a car and a new place to live. She definitely was working for her family. She was a good girl. I liked her. I really did. Today, dozens of Baltimore police trainees combed through the woods behind the memorial set up in their honor. The man arrested, Johnson says, was the father of Miller's unborn baby. Devon Sample faces multiple murder charges, as well as a new charge in Maryland from Laura and Reed's Law, passed last year in honor of Laura Wallen, a pregnant Howard County teacher who was killed in 2017. This is the first murder case in Baltimore where Laura and Reed's Law has been used to charge someone with violence against a pregnant person. It's just a bit of relief for Johnson, who's calling for the maximum punishment, and across the city, calling for peace. Put the guns down. He's losing too many lives, too many kids, too many children, too many mothers. She was perfect. She was perfect. She was my everything. I changed my heart. I love that girl so much, man. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Cheyenne's mother has set up a GoFundMe for the funeral expenses, and we have a link on our website at WMAR2news.com. Sample was ordered held without bond today.